What's going on YouTube? This is Eric from the Rolling Grill. I'm gonna start jumping back on YouTube, putting a few more videos out there. I used to do it in the past, but I kind of stopped. But uh, today I'm out here cooking about eight pork butts, seasoning them up. I'm gonna slap in my assassin smoker, and you know, we just gonna get the damn thing done. It's cold, it's raining in Georgia right now, but we cook it, baby. They don't stop shit, so y'all just take a, take a little ride with me. A little short video just to get back into the swing of things. All right, I'm gonna attempt to shoot and season at the same time, so let's see how this goes. Like I said, I got a few pork butts right here. I got some already seasoned up right there, ready to go on the smoker. Like I said before, I'm inside my cook trailer. And uh, I always start fat side down. A lot of people don't like to season the fat side. But I do, because what I like to do is let that fat and that seasoning run it down, because it helps to create a good, good best base of uh, liquid that you can use later on to season your pork back up, moisten it back up. Add a few things like apple cider vinegar or pineapple juice or whatever you like. And, uh, it, you know, of course, take off all the fat, as much fat as you can, uh, once it's uh, cooked down. And it just makes a good liquid to put back into your chopped pork or your, or your pulled pork. So what I do is I season it up both sides. I guess you guys get the drip. And then what I do is let the meat sweat. I let it sit here. I let the sugars and the salt draw the moisture out because that's what's going to help create excellent bark and uh and that's what i've done i seasoned these up probably about probably about 20 25 minutes ago and you can see they're already sweating that's what's gonna help you get that nice beautiful bark this rub that i'm using it's my rub a little bit of sugar uh, a little savory and, and some salt is all you need and like i say once you finish cooking it you can come back on and hit it with a little vinegar or whatever to tighten the thing on up but that's seasoning the pork right now next shot will be uh, we'll put it in the smoker all right, guys, my cook trailer, like I said before, I'm going to try to set this up so you can see it. One bit of advice I give anybody on cooking big cuts of meat is don't don't puss out on the, on, the, on, the, on the rub. These big pork butts can take it. They can take everything you're dishing out when it comes to that, that salt and that sugar because, again, you're going to be chopping and pulling this thing later on. So every bit of flavor that you put on the outside of this thing is going right back in the inside. So you got to season it real good. So don't be afraid to do it. Brisket's the same way. Got to get in there with those flavors so that you don't have to worry about doing so much work on the back end when it comes to tightening it up after you pull it and chop it. Alright guys, shout out to Western Wood, that's one of my sponsors. And I uh, got my stubs on too, man, big fan of stubs, man. I know those guys, uh, Rocky and, 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 and the folks down at stubs, they're good people. If you ever never had their sauces or rubs, you should give them a try. At Western Wood, you can find that wood in, in any supermarket in america so definitely go out and get you a little bit of that today i'm gonna be rocking a little western hickory and uh cherry and a little post oak on these pork butts that's about it so catch you at the smoker all right guys let's take a little trip outside to the smoker and see what we got right now we got the smoker sitting at probably about 250 degrees I'm rocking my assassin smoker for this one, so firebox at the bottom, firebox on the side, two fireboxes in one, baby. So we're going to rock it out for a minute, and like I said, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do. All right, I've got a total of eight in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it real good. i got four at the top and four on the middle rack. I've actually got six racks in this whole, in this whole unit. Got a water pan down there to give me a little bit of heat. Let I me mean, give me a little bit of moisture in my cook. And I don't know if you can look down in the bottom. I've got, like I said, I've got two fire boxes. I've got uh, some lump charcoal and some and some burned down hickory down there right now. So we're gonna let these things rock out and cook for about eight good hours, about ten good hours, and I'll get back with you later. All right, six hours later, come out here to check the temp and to check the internal temp and the smoker. We're sitting at about 225. Uh, the second firebox is actually kicked in now. That's the second firebox. Got some cherry wood and hickory in there as well. And let's take a look at them, see what they're looking like. Right, looking pretty good. Six hours in, I'm not wrapping a damn thing. 
I'm going to let these ride out at about 225, 250 all night long. Good 10 hour, 12 hour smoke on them. Water pan still pumping. Everything's looking really, really nice. So we're going to close it back up. Before I do though, I'm going to pop in one of my instant read thermometers. Just so I don't have to do too much walking tonight. I can just sit on the couch and let the good times roll. So we've got the instant read thermometer in. It's Bluetooth. It'll tell me on my phone what's going on. And everything is good to go. See you when the finished product is ready to rock and roll. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add a little, a little bit of, uh, we got some western pecan right here. I'm going to add a little bit of that to the firebox. I don't know if you can see in there real good. Add a few pieces in there. These right here will run. These will keep it going. Give it enough smoke so I don't have to come back out here. All right. All right, it's about 11.30 at night. The pork butts have been in there probably about 12 hours and some change. Let's check them out. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, and they're ready to go. Beautiful. Let's, let's pull the rack out a little bit so you can get a good look at them. Beautiful. Beautiful. No wrap needed, baby. Let's check out this one right here. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Feel good, look good. Well, that's it. Eight pork butts, 12 hours of cooking. It's all gravy, baby. Catch y'all in the next video.